Bobby Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. And today's video is special, and I'll tell you why. So think about this for a second. We all have the flavor of our cars that we love, like whether you are a Chevy man, Chevelles, or you're a Porsche girl, or you know, you're know you uh, a Jaguar person, or a Mustang person, whatever. Everybody had their flavors growing up. I just love all kinds of cars, but I had a flavor as well, and those were Mopars. Mopars were my flavor. And uh, my first muscle car was a Challenger, um, and I remember it vividly, but anyway, my point is that we all have these things. However, what we don't realize along the way is that some cars are significantly more rare than others. For instance, let's take this car right here. This is one of 357 built. All right, I'd like you to think about that number for a minute. Chrysler built millions of cars that year. Millions, okay? And one of 357. The next question is this. How many are left? Five, 10, 25 of them are left. Let's say there's 25 of them left after being crashed, rusted, dented, crushed, stolen, whatever. This is what? One of, well, let's use a big number, 50, okay? That's less than Shelby Cobras. Less than Shelby Cobras, and that's why these cars here are continuing to climb, right? Then you throw in great colors and a beautiful restoration. Throw in options too, like air conditioning, four speed, right? This is an awesome driving car, beautifully done. Uh, I, I go on and on about it because it's an exciting piece of history. You know, it's the last of the performance and it's a super rare car. So let's spend a little time walking around it. We'll check it out and I uh, will show you all the details and find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so uh, paint. Why is paint a big deal? Well, because the truth of the matter is both of us could probably paint, right? Paint, great paint like this, is wrapped up in the prep. And here's how you'll know that I'm right. If you've ever fixed a nail hole at home and you kind of rushed it and you sanded it and you thought it looked really good and then you painted it and you can still kind of see it, it's the prep. The paint's fine. It's the prep, right? This car here had a lot of time spent making it super straight and super smooth. When you think about these cars uh, over 50 years, the cold, the hot, the cold, the hot, the metal shrinks, the door ding, whatever along the way, right? Uh, this, a lot of time spent on the prep because the paint is fabulous. That's the original top banana color car. These yellow colors had a different name, whether it was a Dodge or a Plymouth, which is kind of cool and kind of funny. But uh, here we are in a brand that's that's rare and beautiful as well. And so uh, the numbers that I gave you for the low build are not based on color. So this could be one of two or three of these cars uh, built in this color. So we don't break it down like that, but I wanted you to see how amazing the paint is. Yellows and these colors don't show up great uh, on the video, but I do like you to see how clear the letters are. That's the most important thing. If you can see the ceiling in it, uh, you can see the letters, you can see how beautiful the light is shining and reflecting off of it. It gives you an idea how some paint is better than others. All right, so listen, you may be a person who loves cars and doesn't really care what's under the hood. We meet lots of people like that every day. And so those of you that love cars and want to know under the hood, you get the best of both worlds. Because if you want to go to a car show, you could do that here. If you just want it in your garage and you want to show your friends how really nice it is under here, you can do that too. Or if you never want to open it, that's okay as well. But check this out. Okay. The detail under here is exactly the way I would want it to be done. You know, for instance, like uh, the engine compartment is painted. Only Chrysler's came with painted engine compartments and painted trunks like uh, Mustangs and you know Ford products and GM products were all satin black. Chrysler did stuff differently where they painted the whole car and you got a different and a little higher level car, right? Fender tag is over here, the battery topper is here, we have our air conditioning. You didn't ask me if it had power steering, but lo and behold it has power steering, which was an option. It has power disc brakes, right? All of these things we forget to ask about in today's uh, modern cars that come with them. These classic cars didn't always come with that. Here we have all that. Detailed parts around here, the electronic conditions is in the right place, the emission stickers are over there, radiator stickers are here, everything's not spray bombed black. Like, go look at some cars under the hood, right? And see, everything is painted black, all one color, because they're not really putting the time in for detail. This latch and this spring and this right here are completely different color than the hook here and the radiator. Everything is not all black. The hood bumpers, not all black everywhere, right? That takes a lot of time and effort that's why I say when you open the hood and get the wow factor, it looks really nice under here. You know, some of the haters out there will say, you know, 72, 73, uh, 74, there was no muscle car left. Come on, man, really? You look at the back of this car and it's 100% muscle. This 
a small window, which is not as small as the SE window, but nicely styled. The rear wing, these tail lights that look amazing. Look at the quad tips coming out the back. There's no mistaking this car for a uh, sedan that you might need to take the family out in or a minivan or anything like this. Everyone from behind knows that this thing is serious, it's got power, and it is a real muscle car. However, that is important, but what also is important is some restoration stuff. So let's take a peek in here for a minute, all right? <laughs> Okay, we know that this uh, has the correct springs in it for the spoiler because if the spoiler uh, was on here and we didn't have it set up properly, uh, the trunk lid wouldn't stay up. That's a little feature that I point out to you because it takes extra effort to make all that work, right? It's not expensive, it just takes time and, and effort. It has a spare tire um, and it has it all detailed in here as well. It's got new trunk mats, it's got the jacking decals, fresh weather stripping. The latches aren't all spray bombed one color and it just looks really, really nice in here. We can see that the lights are working the way they're supposed to and that's really how you wanna get a car detailed done, put a key in it, you go to work, you do your thing. You make some money, go to work, retire, whatever it is you do. Right? Let us handle sending you a nice car. All right, so you're walking up to your muscle car, man, and you go, wow, this is a great looking car. I can't believe this is mine. And you're like, right? Wow. However, there's not a lot of time you're going to spend walking up into it because you're going to want to drive it. And when you get inside here, you're going to see some cool stuff. So let's do that right now and see what your view will look like inside here. I'm gonna relax for a second. You know why I'm gonna relax for a second? Cause I got, I worked all the time and I'm in my cool muscle car and I drove to work, this is Friday, I drove to work and I said, you know what, man? I'm gonna call whoever it is that I'm on the way home and I'm gonna turn off my Twitter feed, my Facebook marketplace, bleeping this, boss calling me here. Oh, every little thing dinging, banging and winging. And I'm gonna put on some of my own music I wanna put on because I'm streaming it to the radio I put in the glove box. This will have a console on it, in it by the time you get it. It was ordered, it should be here any day. I feel like these cars need consoles. It doesn't come from the factory that way, but the console is really nice. If you don't want us to install it, just let us know ahead of time and we won't do that. But this is what I'm talking about. So I turned off my phone and now I got my music and I got this in my hand. I got the pistol grip four speed in my hand. This is just the, the, the world's greatest invention maybe since the iPhone. The iPhone's pretty cool. Uh, awesome, right? The dash. You could get these cars with a nothing dash, a speedometer and a fuel gauge. This one here has the rally dash in it, so you get the 150 mile an hour speedometer, the 7,000 RPM tack, full array of gauges for temperature, alternator, uh, obviously a gas gauge and oil pressure. Um, and then we have a clock too, and the clock is working. And you say, well, Tony, that's great that the clock is working. Who cares? No, I'll tell you why you should care. Because when the clock is working, that means that somebody spent a lot of time with the little detail stuff. Nine times out of 10, the clock didn't work two years after this car was new. And now here it is, restored properly and done well. You might notice that this dash is a little different than other dashes, because why? because it's an air conditioned dash. It means this car came with factory air conditioning. Look at it, it's how it comes out of here. The regular cars, this is all smooth, no vents, right? And this is nice. And imagine going to dinner with the kids in this and shifting the car and the exhaust sounds or going out with another couple. It's a pretty cool experience. All right, so we're gonna close up this video and I wanna run down something with you that just is a big deal. This is one of 357, right? We don't know how many of these were in yellow. Let's say one quarter were painted in yellow, right? So it's, uh, what, 80 cars, right? Or 80, 90 cars. Out of 90 cars, this could be the only one of its kind left. Think about that. We said, Tony, how's that possible? It's 50 years later, right? Rush, dings, you know, whatever. This is still matching numbers, and it's loaded with features like power disc brakes, power steering. Uh, the, the rally dash with 150 mile an hour speedometer. It's got uh, the pistol grip four speed. It's got the exhaust, it's got wheels and tires. It is ready to go to a car show or go for a drive and make you do this when you go for that drive. When you drive these cars, they just feel different than your daily driver and it's just a connection. It's hard to explain, but they are so much fun. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get this amazing Challenger in your garage. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That would be awesome. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out every day or all the time at least. And uh, don't forget to share it with your friends. I think they would like the content as well. I'll see you next time.